Hi, beautiful. I'm in Paris. Hey guys, come with me. I'm bringing you on a journey to look at some tourist attractions in Paris. I will be rating the hottest tourist attractions here that money can buy you. And uh, I have to say, when I travel, I'm a pretty hard critic and I don't like a lot of shit. So expect me to shit on a lot of shit and be very insensitive to history. Sorry in advance, but that's the vibe today. Oh, and also the rating system, one is uh, bad. 10 is great, so I'll see you at the Louvre. Okay, so we're outside of the Louvre, if you will. It looks to be made of glass and it looks to be very large. Can you move back, ma'am? I think I look ugly that close up, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, there's something in the middle of it. It looks like an art piece and I like it. I'm interested in it. And I have to say the buildings surrounding the Louvre are actually more impressive in my opinion than the glass thing, triangle in the middle. So we'll take this into consideration as we proceed with the museum tour. So let's go. So we are here, right? Sorry for being so lame in the other clips. I feel like I was very like tired feeling, but I'm actually not tired at all. I would say that the architecture in here is actually more impressive than the art so far, but that's also because I don't like historical art. Like if you take a look over to your your right, um, you know, it's cool. Statues are cool and all, but like for me, I'm more of like a modern contemporary art type of guy. So we'll see. This baby here, right, is from 1650. This child was created. Come over here, guys. I don't know. I just don't know if I believe that. You're telling me that that thing has been around for a lot of hundreds of years. I can't do math, but it just doesn't seem likely. I don't know if I believe historical art. I don't know. It seems sketchy to me. Hey, negative Nancy here. Um, I actually do like historical furniture pieces, so this is kind of dope to me. Like absolutely like i can just feel the vibes of somebody very wealthy sitting on this furniture and living their best extra life so i'm here for it <clears throat> there are some pieces that i actually really like and fuck with i would say the theme is like a lot of greens and blacks, which, you know, I could do without. But you know what? I'm growing to like this shit. I think it's a very mature taste of art. And I myself are maturing. So. All right, we made it to the grand finale, if you will. We're at the Mona Lisa and it's very small behind me because I am not gonna wait in this line. She's very small. She commands the crowd, so I can appreciate that, but I don't know. But this, on the other hand, this is major. This slays. That over there, pan over here. I don't know about that one, but this one, this slays. And I want this in my next house. I'm d I actually don't want it in my next house unless my face was painted in the middle. I would take it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I just left the Louvre. Are you ready to hear my final review? Because it matters so much. Let me start this off by saying that I hate historical art. I think we've realized that. But I will say there was some cool shit there. There was some really big shit there. And there was a lot of butts. So the architecture was really pretty. The Mona Lisa was underwhelming. <laughs> but I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Um, I kind of fuck with it a little bit. You know, so I'll give it like a, a solid five out of 10. Wasn't like the best museum I've ever been to, but maybe it's because I don't really have the taste for historical art. As I said before, I am maturing. So maybe like in five, 10, 20, 50 years, I might like it more, but today I'm not that into it. But let's go to the next location. Actually, I think we're in the next location. Is this part of our exploration today, Francesca? Yes, it is. Great, what, where, where are we? We are in a park. We will put the park name do we know the park name? We're gonna find out the park name in one second. We just looked the name, it's in French. Basically, I think it's the Royal Palace National Park of some sorts. Right now there's Paris Fashion Week happening, so there's shit everywhere. But we're gonna go find some good shit. Come on with me. <laughs> 
I think we found a, a gem. Not that I found it, but this is my first time at this park. And this shit kind of <laughs> rocks. Um, look at the fucking grass. Do you see how green this is and how large it is? Oh, holy shit. I mean, listen, this beats Washington Square Park. This one's high up there on my, on my review. Uh, look at the building. Are you joking? I love parks. I love nature. So this, this is good for me. Holy shit. <sighs> Sorry, I keep saying that, but it's a lot of trees, man. And they're pretty perfectly cut. I mean, look at the, which, who do you think does that? Obviously a person who like does landscaping, right? But like they kind of slayed. Do you think they take like a crane and then they with a huge, you know, one of those chopper thingies? Like I want this in my backyard in New York. I don't have a backyard, but one day I will. And we'll have this. Oh, let's take a seat, come with me. This is spectacular. I've never seen so much green stuff in my life and so much amazing plant life. And the vibes over here are immaculate. So I'm automatically giving this place a 10 out of 10. Would come here again. Actually would come here every time I go to Paris. I don't know what else to say. I think that's it guys. The architecture, incredible. The fountain, incredible. The grass, green as can be. The vibes, great. Hello. We are in an area which feels like the Fifth Avenue or the Rodeo Drive of Paris. I don't actually know what it's called because I don't know shit, but you know what? I can put the name here. That's what it's called. You know, we are currently walking by Chanel, if you follow me this way, ma'am. Um, and Gucci's over here. And we got Dior and we have a lot of different places. And this feels like a tourist spot, right? It's kind of gorgeous. Actually, it's one of the most gorgeous shopping places I've ever seen, to be honest with you. And if I were gonna ball out, I would have to do it here. I would have to fucking do it here. I don't know what else to fucking say. Very bougie. You know, you feel sexy and rich over here. Like you can shop on Fifth Avenue in New York and it's cute, you know, you feel a little bougie, but they're so mean. New Yorkers are such bitches. Like y'all fucking suck, but you're great at the same time. Like I love the vibes. Here, everybody's so nice. Everybody wants to help you. Everybody has the, the time of day for you. They can help you with anything. They can give you a glass of wine. They can give you a water, a little calm de garçon here. Um, and then you will buy something and you will feel bougie as hell, even though it's less expensive here to buy something than in New York, whatever. Fuck New York. I love New York, but like, fuck it. I'll give you guys a rating in a second. Uh, I forgot to rate this one and I'm gonna do it now. I would give a 10 out of 10. I would definitely go shopping here, dude. Nothing bad to say. This location slays. Hello, reporting live from the Ark. Uh, it's very fucking big. Yeah, I don't know if you can get a perspective here, but imagine me, little five foot nine boy. And this one is probably about 200 feet tall. Is that a lot of feet? I don't know. It seems like that's probably legit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very big. It looks big and it is big. Uh, we are gonna go to the top now. And uh, from the outside, I would say the architecture is pretty dope. Uh, and the, the carvings, the little carving things on the stone, pretty good. I don't think I could do it that well. So let's go to the top. Ah, uh, we're here. There's a lot of city behind me. Holy shit. Okay, we just walked up about a thousand flights of stairs, but I will say this view is wild, very much worth it. I am definitely feeling a little embarrassed right now while filming in public, but I'm trying to get through it. Um, hi, hello. I'm gonna go over here. Follow me here. Okay, now that we're in private, <laughs> <laughs> nope, people are still looking. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't even think what I'm trying to say here. We'll talk when I get back downstairs. Oh, okay, I'm still up here. I took a break. Give him a little, give him a little tour. See, I'm still here. It's sick up here. Like, listen, if this was my view, I wouldn't be complaining. I would feel great. The building's being flat here. A moment. You can see a lot of shit. It's a great little like, oh, like the vibes are good. Everything looks beautifully clean and white. Like. What more could I ask for, okay? I don't know, I don't really have anything, like any great jokes right now because I'm like really physically exhausted. My butt is actually on fire right now. I woke up at 5 a.m., it is now 5 p.m. and I'm definitely not done until probably midnight tonight. So we gotta go back down the stairs uh, and I'll keep you updated on what I think about this place when I'm done with this 
stare moment. Because the stairs, <laughs> the stairs are the part where it gets me a little bit. And we gotta <laughs> do it all over again. All right, so we are out of the arc, and I will say that I, uh, I, I, I think that I can provide this arc a nine out of ten. The only thing that would have been better is if there was food and drink on the top of it. Like I would really love that. So if we could make that happen somehow, that would be good for me. Nothing to complain about. Oh, the elevator. Eight out of ten. I'm bumping it down. Sorry because there was no elevator, but also it gave me a lot of exercise. So uh, nine out of ten, eight out of ten, eight out of ten. I'm gonna give it. And that's basically it. I mean, it was fucking beautiful. Highly recommend it. I think it's underrated because nobody goes on it and there was tons of tickets and it was easy to do. No line. And it's a beautiful day. Like what? All right, let's go to the fucking Eiffel Tower, right? That's like the number one attraction, huh? I heard. All right, see you there. All right, we've made it to the Eiffel motherfucking tower. Eh, eh. Um, this was constructed in 1889 by Gustave. Eiffel swag. Um, he honestly slayed a little bit. Like people say that the Eiffel Tower is slightly underwhelming because of the fact that it's so like everybody wants to like see it. But honestly, it's kind of cool. I will say that the scaffolding and shit is not the vibe for me. But it's really tall, as you would expect, and it's very monumentous. It's feeling very grand, which I like. I thought this one might be like the worst reviewed, just because it's so overrated and I've been here before and it's like you know whatever. But maybe I. I've changed my mind. I don't know. Maybe I need to get farther away from it to see the whole thing in its grandeur. So let's do that. Come with me. I don't know. Like, it's just, it's kind of iconic. Is it the most coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life? No, but it is cool. And I think for it being built in 18 fucking 89, dude, that's a long ass time ago and it still looks sick. I'm gonna give it a solid seven. Mm -hmm. It's under construction, so it's a six out of 10. Fuck it, I don't care. Come after me, okay? Parisians, wee oui, wee, oui. come after me, me. Like, six out of 10, I'm gonna stick with it. And honestly, what the fuck is this? You can't put fucking grass over here? Where's the grass? And mud on my feet, babe. You got grass everywhere else in this freaking city. It's gorgeous everywhere else, but no grass in the Eiffel Tower. Anyways, um, it's been a long day. I'm in a bad mood now. I need to eat, and uh, there's really nothing else to see here besides what you're seeing right now. I'm not going to the top of it either, so don't make me do that. We just went to the top of some other shit. It was great. I don't need to do it again. And that's really it. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. Welcome to, um, this was Paris. I'm in Paris and thank you. That's really it, right? That's it. I th I watch another video of a shop, Ex Mondo. And uh, thanks, bye.